Happy Friday, everybody. This is Ethan from Planned Right. Wanted to go over the website a little bit with everybody, give you a feel for what we are offering and what you're able to look at. And more than anything, I really want to show our 3D models and how to navigate them. I know that that can be a little bit challenging. Uh, every project we do, of course, you get that standard 2D drafted plan set, right? What we're normally seeing, or what we call blueprints. That plan set can be real hard to understand a lot of the time. So what we do at Planned Right to go above and beyond, this is definitely something that not, I, very few people offer anything like this in the sphere. We go and we offer that 3D model. We offer something that you can really visualize and feel. Uh, like I said, most have a real hard time really in being able to get a feel, for lack of a better word, for a 2D top-down plan set. So having a 3D model you can virtually walk through and fly through really helps you get not only excited about your home but make sure that you're sizing everything proper too last thing you want to do is make something too small and it was hard to tell by a few numbers and dimensions so good way to feel that out is by really feeling it virtually so anyways gonna go ahead and walk through some of these if you go onto the website here at blandright.com i'll link it scroll down go to view more or just click projects at the top i've got a few recent ones i've been working on and I'll update these every once in a while with some new ones we're working through. But if we go ahead and we'll just look at the first one here, right? Up on the top, we've got a couple different pictures. Some general shots of the home. This is a project we're in the middle of right now, so very much incomplete, but we've got the bones down. Beautiful home, about 6,500, six, around six, the 6,000 square foot mark or so out here in Queen Creek. This will be a beautiful build, one they've been very excited about. Um, the homeowners here are very, very talented designers themselves. She is very known for her design touch, and he's a very talented general contractor. He's been in the building industry for a very long time, and uh, I've been fortunate enough to help him design this place. So now anyways, you can look, of course, at those standard pictures, but if you scroll down a little bit, and this is a link that all of our clients get with every plan set, there'll be a little model you can do. So if you click load model, when you first get sent this or here on our website, open up the full screen so you can really see it a little bit better. In here it's going to give us a render of the home that you can fly through. There's a few ways of navigating it which we'll get into but first off what I want you to do is on the top Chief Architect who makes the software that I use for all this is telling us hey you're using the basic rendering technique go ahead and try the standard. It'll look a little bit better I'd recommend doing the same thing. You can do the glass house I'm not going to click it right now it does take a second to load but what it does is it allows you to see through the walls to other walls but for now, for simplicity's sake, let's click standard. So standard, as you can see, it changed. Now we can see the texture, the, the shingles on the roof. You can see if you zoom in a little bit more, the texture in the stucco. There, there's a little bit more to it, right? It doesn't give everything that I send over. Uh, as you begin on the actual plan set, I, I'll, I send some renders that are much more detailed. But this is a great way for you to get a feel yourself without having to have me send you screenshots. So anyways, in here, we do have a couple of different options. On occasion, I'll send in some notes you can just, you can see here and they'll show us little text bubbles you can click. There are different camera views I'll occasionally attach in as well. On here, there's only one and all they do is they'll jump you to different points of the home. Under cross sections, this is very helpful. If you would rather not see the roof in the way and you really wanna see that floor plan, click that top one and then you have the freedom to scroll. You can even type in a specific height. If these are 10 foot ceilings, let's go 10 feet. There you go, it's cut off at 10 feet. Let's drop it a little bit lower to get below that ceiling. Beautiful, so now we've got a floor plan we can see. So how I'm navigating here, I just have my mouse on my computer. I'm right clicking to pan around. Left scroll or left click to look around, to move around the full model. And scroll wheel to zoom in and out. So that part's pretty simple. There are a couple different ways of navigating, however. If you click here on the bottom left, it's just gonna center you, or pull you out anyway, so you can see the full build. From the top, this next one is actually a top-down view. And so it'll lock you in here, and you can't rotate around, but this is a great way to see that floor plan. Right here is showing that elevation, that height. So we can drag it up. There you go, this will give us our first floor here. It will hide the roof. So there you go, you can see our kitchen, our game room, and the pantry. The, and then the last one, of course, is what we were showing. But now, to go back to this guy, this one's pretty neat. This is, can be a lot easier to navigate, especially if you're on your phone. Another real neat thing about what I offer here is if you go ahead and open this up on your phone, there'll be the load model. It'll probably kick you to the App Store where you can download the app. 
very quick download. You don't have to register with an account, any of that stuff, thank goodness, makes it very simple. But this will be the navigating you're doing within the phone. You can do it on the computer as well, but it can be a little bit easier for those not used to flying around on a 3D model. Up and down, forward, look around, right? And these are gonna be buttons right there on your screen or your phone. You can be holding, looking around. So that'll make it a little bit easier to move around. And up here, you'll, of course, you'll get like a little mini map showing. Now, another neat thing is within this, you can actually connect a controller, like a gaming controller, Xbox, whatever it is, and navigate using a controller as well. So if you happen to have a controller laying around, your kid has one, grab it from them and connect it up. It'll actually make this a lot easier than trying to use a mouse. So I have one connected right now just to show it a little bit. So if I go into settings, input, just turn on game controller. So it's that easy. I'm gonna turn off the hide on screen controls just so you guys can see what I'm doing here. And you can change the speed you're moving around at. I'm just gonna bump it up, move a little bit faster here. So anyways, if I'm in here, I've got, like I said, have my controller connected. Let's see if we can get it to work here. There it is. I just, it didn't respond for a second, so I unclicked and reclicked the button, just a heads up for everybody. All right, so I won't use the mouse here. I'm just using my controller. So you can see the buttons on the bottom left and right are moving around. Those are the joysticks. So the left one is to move in your, kind of your person around. Say you were standing here moving around. That's the left one. The right side is to look. So you can look anywhere you need to. Now the D-pad, that'll be on a controller, so the physical arrow key buttons will be, if you go down with it, you'll go down, up. So that's how you get up and down. Say you had two stories, or say you're just up too high and you wanted to get down, just tap it down a little bit. So that's simple enough, right? There's a few other tip, things you can do with the controller, but to keep it easy on you, stick with this. So here's the model. So here's a house that we're working on currently this is of course our kitchen big open area it really is beautiful and what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and go back over to that cross section that was there and go back to view cross section i'm going to turn that off so we get our ceiling back in here so here we go you can see large 16 foot ceilings in that main end after coming into the main living room from the entry the entry itself is huge this will be beautiful big chandelier should probably be hanging down here that's how they had it in their old home We've got a study right here at the entry of course our large kitchen ceiling drops down right here to 12 foot so it's still very spacious and of course if you go this way then we've got our garage straight ahead right over here you've got our pantry large butler's pantry this will be wonderful 10 foot ceilings in here in here we've got our bath just a little powder bath which connects straight into our game room so Kids get annoying sometimes. You got to shove them in another part of the house, let them hang out. And heck, if it's not even for the kids, if you're hosting, having parties, whatever it is, this is a great area for that, especially with the adjacent theater room. Yep. This roof or the ceiling here will actually be vaulted. And right outside, we've got our patio. It's all connected. So, again, great area to host for entertainment, whatever it is. You can throw a pool back here. We've got a large RV garage right next to it, which is actually back here. There's few garages to the home so let's go ahead and just take a look outside here real quick so you can as I had shown earlier you can change the speed that you're looking around at I'm just gonna go ahead and do that here so going into settings input I'm just gonna bump up our move speed here all right won't change all that much but here's our RV garage side of the house as you're coming into the home you'll be coming down the street on this side so you'll get to see the side elevation of the home. Really is beautiful. Now on the front of the home, large, tall ceiling or tall roof, high, very high pitch, mostly 12, 12, 10, 12 pitch, six and a half by 12 in the center span, just to give us all that elevation up front. 18 foot plate height right here in the middle, where you can see. Lots of elevation here, just beautiful. Actually, in this room, this is a pretty nice little detail. We've got a little ladder here. Now, up above this room, and this is something we're currently working on, this isn't final, we've got a separate little, like, bunk area. So, a little storage area, whatever it may be. That's pretty neat. Apologies if I'm moving a little bit too quick. Here's back to our family room. 
That ladder sits right back behind this wall, right over here on the side, left side of the piano. So now on this side of the house, we've got some more bedrooms. There's that bedroom we were just looking at with their closet, their bathroom, excuse me, to a closet here. Now moving a little quick, but also make sure, you, remember you can look on that top right of the screen. There's a little mini map so you can get a feel as well for what this looks like. It's kind of a top down view. So back over here, we've got now a, another, this is the laundry room. Again, work in progress, not filled in yet. And now we've got another bathroom back over here. This is another bedroom. I know I'm passing through walls and making this tricky. Let's back up a little bit. So back to the main room, right? Right over here we had that laundry room. And here, bedroom. This is another bedroom back in here. Now if we go left in this hallway, we've got another bedroom to their closet. I'm moving quick, but remember on the top right you can see the walkthrough. Here's the bathroom. Oh, and this is actually exercise. Nope, oh, this is the bedroom, and then neighboring it is an exercise room here. So if I go back into that main hallway again, we're gonna come back. All right, now on this side, we've got that exercise room in here. Large room. Little closet. Let's go back. Back in here, we've got another bathroom. Now if you go this way, we've got the master. Large vaulted ceilings. From the master, we've got a bathroom. So centered tub. I love this person. This is a great look. Having that centered tub with a large shower. Vanities here. Dual vanity with a little makeup counter and a large closet back in here with a big window. So this is beautiful. And we've even got a little laundry area too, so that'll be great. Cut down on tracking laundry through the home, right? Again, I know I went quick on this. I'll be doing some more of these quick videos and I'll get the hang of it better for you. But here's a great little feel for the 3D models and renders that Planned Right offers. Again, this is not a standard thing. This isn't something you're gonna get from any drafting or design company. This is something that we really pride ourselves on. We wanna make sure that the build process is as involved and personal as possible for you. We really love tech. We try to stay as forward as possible when it comes to these type of innovations. And stay tuned, we've got some pretty big announcements coming up within the next month or so. We'll be partnering with a pretty large YouTube channel showing off some new uh, tech features that Planned Right will be offering. So this is Ethan with Planned Right. Hope you liked it. We'll do some more later. Thank you.